Welcome to another bite-sized episode of Cream Rises Up. Just recently multitudes all over the globe shell-shocked by the capabilities of OpenAI's GPT-3 in generating answers for complex questions fed into it. This model could spit out fluent paragraphs compared to its predecessor GPT-2. Even though the sheer powers of GPT-3 didn't sink in yet for many, we already find ourselves surrounded with rumors concerning the fourth iteration GPT-4. These rumors pertaining to the specification of GPT-4 are not concrete because of a non-disclosure agreement. According to the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, GPT-4 will not have 100 trillion parameters contrary to popular view that was floating. So, we can assume that it will have around 175 to 280 billion parameters, similar to DeepMind's language model gopher. It turns out that larger parameters don't always equate with better performance. For instance, the Megatron Turing, which is one of the largest dense neural networks at 530 billion parameters did not exceed the performances of both Gopher and Chinchilla with significantly lower parameters. Altman said that they are focusing on making smaller models perform better. Large language models require large dataset, massive computing resources, and complex implementations. Deploying large models becomes cost-ineffective for various companies. For example, GPT-3 was trained only once despite errors. Training a large model is very expensive and many companies found out that it's better to optimize smaller models than to train a bulky one. Microsoft and OpenAI has recently discovered that training a 6.7 billion parameter model has the same performance ceiling compared to a 13 billion parameter model. All these indicate that GPT-4 and its successors will use highly fine-tuned hyperparameters. DeepMind Technologies, a subsidiary to Alphabet Inc., recently found out that the number of training tokens influences the model performance as much as the size. The more we train AI models, the less likely they become error-prone. It is believed that OpenAI will significantly increase the training tokens by up to 5 trillion to enhance the capabilities of GPT-4. This means it will take 10 to 20 times floating point operations than GPT-3 to train the model and reach minimal loss. To make GPT-4 more polished and simpler than its predecessor, OpenAI decided to make GPT-4 text-only model. The reason behind this decision according to the CEO is the difficulty of creating a good multimodal platform as opposed to text-only or picture-only models. Combining textual and visual information is an enormously difficult task to accomplish. Besides some inaccurate results, AI alignment is another issue witnessed while using GPT-3 model. When we interact with a chatbot or another form of AI platform, we want them to follow or to align with our intentions and values. GPT-4 is expected to address this issue. Release date of GPT-4 is still unconfirmed, but the word on the street is it will be showcased early 2023. So, from the snippets of information that we gathered, we can deduce that GPT-4 will be more than an incremental update on the already impressive GPT-3 model. It will definitely address most if not all the issues plaguing GPT-3. But the more pertinent question we should ask here is what is at stake for all of us? Is this ridiculously more advanced, borderline sentient, and never seen before AI, except in sci-fi movies help or hinder human beings? It is evident that as the potential of AI grows, the perils are becoming much harder to ignore. The progress in AI has happened extraordinarily fast, leaving regulators behind the ball. It's difficult to vividly see and say this is where we draw the line. This is beyond the next frontier in tech. The current state of AI might turn out to be the beginning of a new age in human evolution. We have to bring the ethical aspect of AI safety to the front line before it's too late.